Meanwhile, Connecticut's largest agricultural fair has been canceled because of the coronavirus. The Durham Fair started in 1916, and this is only the fifth time in its history it has been called off. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is joining us from Durham with more details. And Sharon, I imagine many are disappointed about this. Yes, especially because the last time the Durham Fair was canceled was 1944. That's World War II, so it's been a long time since it's been called off. And President Daniel Merrimont says that this is a decision people aren't taking lightly. Very, very difficult. Um, it's something that we've been debating since uh, the March time frame. Dizzying rides, carnival food, and family fun. Many say the Durham Fair is Connecticut's unofficial welcome into fall. But for the first time in more than 70 years, the fairgrounds will remain empty this September. Imagine a campus like this, 200,000 people on the campus. It would be virtually impossible. Miramont says the decision took several weeks to make and it all boils down to safety. It's not just fun families will miss out on this fall. The fair committee is worried about the more than 25 nonprofits and businesses who use the fair as a revenue booster. Or most of them, uh, this is their largest fundraising opportunity annually. So the fact that now they don't have that was a huge factor in our decision. Miramont says they're working on a plan to make sure those folks still get what they need. Whether it's going to be virtual or whatever, our marketing team's working on that as we speak. Now here's the good news. Merrimont says they're hoping to make a very strong comeback for the 2021 season with a few surprises in store. Reporting in Durham, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.